What's going on YouTube day back again and today I'm here to show you I found a replacement for the Joby Gorilla Pod and it's right there. Stay tuned to find out more. What's going on YouTube? I hope everybody has been having a great day. Today I'm going to be showing you a replacement that I ended up getting for the Joby Gorilla Pod and I have fallen in love with it and I haven't touched this since receiving these. Now as you can see I actually have two different ones here and I am super stoked to show them to you. Starting off first with this one, this is by a photo pro on Amazon and this is the UFO 2. I have seen this around and I was like, eh, I have this. This works perfect for what I need it for. Well, I ended up getting this and yes, evidently I needed this in my life. As usual with all my videos, there will be links down in the description to be able to check this out for yourself. Popping open the box, sliding out the contents, now I apologize, like I said, I've been using this and I don't have the plastic bag that this uh, originally came in, but everything else that you see came in the package. You get this Bluetooth remote for being able to use with both your phone and your cameras if they're Bluetooth uh, activated. So that's kind of handy sometimes if you're setting it up someplace and you're wanting to be able to take a, well, a selfie shot or video, something like that. Once in a while, one of these come in handy. Now, I have one in my camera bag that works with all of my cameras, so I doubt I'll end up using this one, but it's nice that it's included. You get a phone mount. Uh, tension on it is pretty good. Grips on here are, are decent. You do get a screw mount on this side and this side. Now, some of you may end up asking why there's a screw hole on the back side and the bottom. Well, I'll show you that here in just a minute. Now, with this setup, you actually also get a GoPro mount and then you have the meat of the package itself. Now this is a tripod and uh, I'm not set up unfortunately as usual to be able to show you straight on but this is what it ends up looking like. What this is is completely flexible. It has this nice uh, neoprene rubber flexi. I'm not sure what this material is but it is super comfortable to hold in the hand where with this, if you're gripping it, these little knobs, they kind of bite into different parts of your hand, almost like, almost like acupuncture or something like that. And sometimes it is just not comfortable. And with the shape of it, it's kind of funky. You know, I love this to death. It has been great for me, but this, this takes the cake. It's smaller in diameter. You don't have all the little knobs and everything that's on there. And like I said, you can completely like bend it however you want. I'm going to show you some of the different configurations. Now taking a look at the top on here, you do have an adjustment knob on here and it does have a ball joint. So you loosen that up. You can fully adjust this. Now I'm going to give you uh, my one nitpick with this is even when it's tightened down really tight, if you push on it real hard, you can move that ball joint. You just want to make sure and tighten this down really well especially if you have something heavy on here now I don't have my Canon t3 anymore so I can't judge with the weight of that but I have been using this with this guy which this weighs a decent amount this guy and of course the camera you're looking at which is the Panasonic G7 and usually it has a microphone attached to the top of it now where I was talking about having the screw mount on the back side of the phone holder well, the reason being is if you're attaching this to say a tree limb to something else and it's sitting at this angle, you can actually just attach this on and then attach your phone that way. Or you can just attach it like normal. I have a gimbal holder for my phone and a couple other things for phones. Um, I probably won't end up being used on that. So that will go into a side bag, scrap bag, something like that. If a friend needs one, I will give that to them. Let's get into the functionality of this versus the Gorilla Pod. The Gorilla Pod, you have these ball joints and you can only wrap so much before they end up popping out of socket. Now I'm not going to force it to pop out of socket, even though I can, because once you do that, it, it just kind of ruined, unfortunately. Um, that socket is just becomes too loose. Sometimes it splits, but as you can see, that's about the maximum that you can get on a curl and about as tight as you can get around a railing. I've done that quite a few times and you kind of have to finagle it so it doesn't end up falling. With this, if you want to do a tight curl, look at that. You can literally wrap it around something about a half inch big if you wanted to with just one arm and it would end up holding it. 
I love this for that feature and this seems very durable. I have not had any issues with like maybe the wiring inside snapping. Now one of the features that I really like and it makes it look funky but it actually it doesn't hurt. It doesn't put any stress on the arm. It makes it really stable and it actually takes off a lot of the weight that you would end up normally having on the wrist itself is in a configuration sort of like this where you're holding on the one and the other two are wrapped around your wrist. If you're out adventuring, climbing, something like that, and you're afraid that you're gonna drop your camera, and if you're like me, remove the strap holders on there, this is a great, great look. It's not going anywhere. Now this does advertise having, you know, the rotating ball head. Um, the problem with that is, is you can, if you loosen this up, you can set that to where it rotates, but then you also get some of this. So I wouldn't really rely on that. Um, it works really great as it is. You can get some great angles out of it. It has good flexibility in that way. But as far as having, being able to rotate 360 degrees, uh, for pan shots, I don't think this is going to suit your needs for that. But if you were really desperate to do so, you could mount a ball head uh, on top of that to be able to get your pan shots from side to side. It all depends on your needs and everybody is a little bit different. Taking a look at the other one I ended up getting, sliding all its contents out of the box. As with the other one, you get a little information sheet. Um, a lot of it is just basic stuff, telling you how to pair your Bluetooth. I didn't show you on the other one because it's very simple. You get all of the same contents. You get another Bluetooth controller. You get another one of those. You get another GoPro mount and you get the mini tripod. Now with this one, you can do the same thing if you want. You know, you can do it like that. You're not going to get the same grip, but if you're just going for something minimal, you know, this will work very well for doing like that. So this one has a bubble on there. That's kind of cool if you're trying to do, make sure that your shots are level and everything. So if you have a camera screwed on here, that's how it's going to end up being. And I understand being able to line up your shot, make sure that it is all level and everything versus this has the ball head. I can see vice versa. I still kind of would have liked to had a uh, level on here as well. But this one I've been using for this camera and then some of my other smaller things like a GoPro. It's nice to be able to mount onto like a light pole, sign, anything like that. It has the same bendy. It has the same bendy as these. Uh, you're not going to get as much wrap because, well, of course, the legs are a little bit shorter. Now, these come in at two different price points. This one runs you about 40 to 50 dollars. If you get the big gorilla pod, you're talking 80 to hundred dollars. This comes in at 18.99 and this one is at 16.99. Now, if you want to have a versatility in your camera bag, go ahead and grab both. But I think for the money, the extra $2, get this one. I have not had any issues. This one is great. I always have this in my backpack. Um, no matter whether I would be filming with my camera, the GoPro, my phone, uh, this one is just super great and it's so comfortable. It's just squishy and comfortable. I want to thank you guys for all tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I just wanted to make it short and sweet. If you guys did, click that like button. As usual, there will be links down in the description to be able to check these out yourself and pick one up if you'd like so. That helps out the channel immensely. As usual, YouTube, I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.